Namaste. Now we are going to talk about a way to prepare a homemade chutney. Maybe in the place you're living uh, there are some preparations called chutney, but here we are going to understand chutney as a simple concept. It has to be very tasty. This means that it's going to be very sugary. It's going to be very sweet. Um, but it also has to be very pungent. So you cannot take too much of it. It's not going to be a jam. A spicy jam. It's going to be a really spicy jam. For instance, you might consider around one uh, soup spoon for one lunch meal as a guideline. So you can understand the amount that we are saying. It has to be same spicy as like that Japanese green thing, wasabi. But it also has to be very, very sweet. Okay? We are going to talk here about some kind of chutneys. And we are going to start with the uh, fruit juice, uh, fruit chutneys. It can be pineapple. It can be um, mango that is not properly ripe and also unripe papaya. It's important that these fruits are not ripe, mango and papaya, because if they are ripe, they are going to produce different effects on our digestion. In Ayurveda, usually we don't mix fruits with other, fru with other foods, mainly grains, but pineapple, avocado, uh, coconut, pomegranate, tamarind and lemon can be mixed. There is no much why in a sense of only this, but the point is that these fruits have the why of not disturbing the digestion. Why they don't, do not disturb the digestion? Well, nature can uh, answer you, but the point is that uh, usually if people take a lot of fruits along with the meal, these are going to be digested in different times and one of them are going to be putrefied, it's going to be spoiled, fermented in the di dig in the, during the digestion. So these fruits, by any uh, natural reason, doesn't get these effects. Uh, I don't know chemically why, but uh, the point is that if you try, uh, I usually suggest you to try with banana. <laughs> Because before starting Ayurveda, I ate a lot of banana with bread and my guesses were just like capable of uh, blockbuster destruction. <laughs> so when I finished, when I stopped eating bananas with uh, bread and also with muesli, granola and this kind of stuff, uh, indeed my guesses got a lot better, they stopped actually. And also the idea of having fruits in the end of the meal, it's very um, not healthy for your digestion. In the beginning in Ayurveda, I was just like, oh, how can this be possibly true? You can try and you see what happens to your digestion. The good about Ayurveda is that it's real. It's real in the sense that you try with yourself. And you see the results. If you just like eat watermelon, because watermelon is even worse, <laughs> and your digestion is just like complete, there is no problems with it, you don't feel any kind of upsets during your digestive process, your stools are well formed, and you go to the toilet every day and you feel healthy and this kind of stuff, okay, for Ayurveda, it's nothing wrong of eating these things together. But usually, in a general uh, way, this does not work like this, okay? So, the chutneys, once again. We are going to start taking some oil. It can be sesame oil, it can be sunflower oil, it can be coconut oil, depending on the constitution of the person, what is are the current imbalances. And then we are going to start to put some very spicy spices like uh, cayenne, 
like uh, chili, things that are really pungent. We are going to put just initially in the oil to warm it up, just as we do in the masalas. But after we put these um, spices there, these really red hot chili peppers, <laughs> we are going to put sugar. Okay, it's going to be around one cup of sugar, brown sugar, I say. Uh, the merara is also not very good. It's better to use brown sugar that is more crude. And we're going to mix this and it's going to start to form kind of syrup. And when this uh, sugar is well mixed, we are going to put the fruit there. It can be the pineapple. The pineapple is ripe, not uh, green. <laughs> and the other ones, if you're going to do by mango or unripe, also uh, papaya, you can put there. There are differences between each kind of these chutneys, but here they are considered the same because we are just starting to talk about this. And uh, we are going to uh, start to uh, mix them and they are going to be cooking. After some time we can put a little bit more sugar, a little bit more spice to the aim of having a very very sweet thing that you cannot be very distant and a very very spicy thing that you cannot be too much close <laughs> and during the meal as we spoke before you're going to eat a little bit of this uh, chutney along with the meal to uh, guarantee your appetite during the meal this kind of chutney you can put on the fridge, you can do just like once in a month, once in a week. Uh, you should not freeze it, but you can put it in the fridge. And every meal you take just like one tablespoon and uh, put it on the plate and during the meal you go in that order. From the uh, most uh, simple carbohydrate to uh, complex carbohydrate to proteins to green vegetables and during the whole meal you can be enjoying the freshness of the chutney. The chutney is better for digestion than uh, mustard and ketchup and also uh, pickles because usually um, the sourness of these um, preparations tend to make the metabolic process watery, uh, slow and not so uh, intense. And it's not the intention to have very very big amounts of chutney. It's just the sufficient that you can eat during your meal with good appetite, okay? There are other kind of chutneys also. There is coconut chutney where you can take the coconut meat and uh, you put the coconut on the oven and you burn it a little bit if you have flames <laughs> in your uh, cooker and then you smash it so you can easily take it out it's not so easy <laughs> but you have the pro if you have the proper tools it's going to be more easier or less difficult and then you're going to mix it with a lot of sp uh, spices that are going to increase your digestive power without being so spicy they are um, coriander, white pepper, uh, some kind of um, pink pepper that it's mainly aromatic, it's not so much uh, intense in the pungency. We are going to mix with cilantro, we are going to make a chutney as we usually take in South India. It can be spicy also, you can put some malagueta, you can also put some chili there, but it's not going to be so sensitive because of the coconut meat that you're going to be just like in very, uh, you're going to grind it in rough, uh, in rough size, not going to be so, so thin. It's going to protect your tongue and this is not going to take and sugar. If you want to put a little bit of brown sugar, there is no problem because uh, in Ayurveda the coconut is also sweet and it's playing the part of 
the um, the sugar. You don't need to heat this so much. You only can mix, and in the end, you have a thing that is also spicy. But the spice here is not so pungent. It's more aromatic. And there are also other kind of chutneys made with uh, very bitter things like neem chutney. Uh, but this in the West is more not so much common. <laughs> in India, you can also take it. But to start, it's better to go with the sweet chutneys. The bitter chutneys are very good when it's very, very hot. Because the bitter taste can enhance the digestive process when it's very hot. And you can also use the chutney in the morning, in the breakfast. You can also use the chutney in the, lun in the lunch, in the afternoon meal, in the dinner. You can always use the chutney, but you should be uh, careful not to take too much because it's probably going to make you feel with some burning sensations or some hives or any kind of this. Okay? So, uh, what to use in, in the kind of flavor, the fruit and all this, we are going to talk more specifically to our, your case in the consultations. And uh, if this is going to be uh, more with uh, chili pepper, or if it's going to be more with cardamom, or if it's going to be more with mustard and all this stuff, this can vary, don't worry. But the principle is that it's going to help your appetite during the meal, right? Okay, this is a very important concept. I hope you like uh, preparing your chutney uh, and also you can make the chutney with ghee instead of uh, sesame oil or, or sunflower oil or coconut oil. Ghee is the most uh, delicious oil to make the chutney. But if you are a vegan, it can be also the other oils, okay? That's it. I hope you like the uh, environment of India playing. <laughs> and please share, comment, subscribe, etc. And if you want, just contact me at namaste.tiago.gmail.com for further information in Namaste Coach. See ya! Namaste! Namaste!